We're literally at the edge of the world. And everyone here is a guest. Places outside are ruled by men, here is ruled by nature. I've been here for eight years in Svalbard. I come from uh, south of Brazil and I've been working as a photographer, videographer. We had a friend which was living in Svalbard and working here. And she told me, you have to come and you also don't have a visa to work here and it's easier to work in Svalbard for you. I think uh, after six months I realized that I was in love with the place. Uh, the first six months I was too scared. So this is longer been, this is our, the capital of Svalbard. Two and a half thousand people, 51 nationalities. Some polar bears try to come into town sometimes. Actually we're all here squeezed in this little space here because of the nature, yeah? I'm the manager of the northernmost sporting goods store in the world. I have uh, been up in Svalbard for uh, 24 years. Yeah, I had a pretty settled life in Germany and I wanted to change and I thought about traveling again and so I was playing a little lottery, writing down all the state's names on little piece of papers. I had one in my hand and I opened it and it was Svalbard. <laughs> my first uh, emotion, it was, oh my God, what I'm doing here? This is not my place. And then uh, after like three, four months, I get to know people and uh, I get uh, to see the beauty of uh, Svalbard. You're not meant to be born here, that's for sure. We don't have a maternity ward. And even if you are unlucky enough to die here, you're gonna be shipped off. So that means everyone comes up for some time, a period of time. Some people stay six months, some people stay a year, some people stay considerably longer. And new people arriving get welcomed in. It was a free land, an open land. It, was, it didn't belong to anyone. Well, it does, it belongs to the bears. I mean, this place belongs to the bears. It belongs to the bears, the reindeer, the seals and the whales. That's it. And the foxes. You know, I mean, that, it's, it's their place. We're guests. This is a, a full community, a real community. And people check on each other. Because up here, if, if you don't do it, no one else will. We do sell a lot of guns because we need guns to protect ourselves against the polar bear. So uh, as far as going out of the, the town, you should bring a gun because you never know where he is. This is a tent that uh, a polar bear came in, as you can see here, has uh, many holes. Here, also the inner tent got damaged. So, uh, I will try to fix these ones here, but uh, I've gotten uh, many tents in that uh, they're too damaged. Your human instinct flourish in Svalbard much more than any other places because here it's cold you feel in your skin here it's 
dangerous. You have polar bears, so you need to be awake. You need to be aware of what's happening around you. We have four months of darkness. We have four months of sun all the time. So if nature wants, nature keeps you inside your house, locked there. I was having a dream to travel. Mm, I was not expecting to be here on the top of the world. The first time I see the Northern Light, it's like I'm in another universe. I say, oh my God, that's so beautiful. That's really, really, really beautiful. When I post a video or a photo on the Facebook and uh, they see it, most of my friends, they quite surprised. I like uh, this place, I like to see the water, the mountain. That uh, totally gave me uh, positive energy. Regarding climate, I've seen a lot of changes there. Uh, in 2002 was the last time I was uh, on the ice uh, driving my snowmobile to Bonnesburg, the Russian settlement. And that took me about 10 minutes. Now it's a uh, one and a half hour drive by land. I love this place. I love it. It's changing fast. 10 years is enough for me to say I've seen the effects of climate change here. It's not, it's not just a random weather pattern for a couple of years. This place as I know it, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show my grandchildren. And that's, that's a shame. When you get driven to live your, your life in a place like Svalbard, as pure as Svalbard is, people that live here, they like the real life. They don't accept the model how the world is down there. If you don't fit in the world out there, maybe here is your place. <laughs>